Uh, HSD Jets. It's the F86. Um, so that's the fuse, the nose, the tail section. Mm, put together a little bit. Uh, a couple of wings in a canopy, of course, a spar. Um, about to embark upon this install. Uh, let's see if I can get a look in there, man. Look at that fan. That thing is just mesh, mess gun. <laughs> look at it. Wow. Thing is crazy. Anyway, it's enough talking about that and look at follow it up. So, installing the nose to the fuselage. Alright, let's embark upon that. Alright, so first things first, you got to get two long screws, uh, 60s, 60 millimeters, I measured them, these are, it comes with two bags that are 60s like this, with two each, so, um, after investigation, I can see there's a hole underneath there, so what you got to do is, you got to open this gear door, and there's a servo there controlling it, and then you see the two holes, so, effectively, you got to flip it over uh, to get the space you need to do that. Uh, and then you got to be able to work these two screws into the hole. Let me get that set up. Such a big bird. Kind of hard just to get it flipped up like that in the first place and to get it to stay. So all of these wires that came from the bottom, I'm making sure that they stay below this piece of decking, which is where your battery packs go, um, away from the whole landing gear situation. This is all so cool, man. I got to show you the ESC. That thing is massive. So anyway, I'm going to guide this on in and put the two screws in. So it says in the directions to secure along this seam with some uh some foam glue um basically saying you know you can do that if you like uh but i'm gonna see i'm gonna get, i could always go back and do it there's nothing gonna connect this in any other way other than these screws so if i feel like it's not sturdy enough um i'll go ahead and, and take it apart again and glue it but i'll give it a try but i think it'll be tight enough with there's actually six screws, so you get these cinched down right fast, but you, you effectively see what I did. I just threaded those in, now I'm going to cinch them down. So, I, I've shown this to a couple of times. Um, it works perfect. You get your correct setting for the job you have, and you slide it into this little device. It's got like a spring lock, and just get the business done. I got those fairly tight. I'm not tightening it to the point where it kind of buckles and, and starts smushing foam. But I, I can, I'm turning a little bit more as we speak just because it's just one of those things. Uh, close that door down. And I'm going to get this. Hang on, let me. Look at that thing. Wow. All right, back to this. That was a squirrel moment. Squirrel! Oh, that's such a beast, though. Alright. So, at this point, you can see what's going on. Uh, that's holding with just those bottom screws, but then these go at the top right here. Of course, I grabbed the wrong one. They kind of thread in, I mean, uh, slide in at that angle, and that's going to secure it from the top. So, I really feel like uh, we'll shake it around and kind of make a decision on it, the owner and myself. But he's the kind of guy who, he actually tapes wings on certain aircraft. He's got a E-Flight 1.2 P-51, and I have seen him. I've actually flown his bird with the wings just taped on with some of this green tape. Like, not your most secure tape, even. So, he probably won't want to do this. So, 
either way we'll we'll look at it once it's all put together and make a decision if we think it needs added strength for such a beast of a bird but if the directions don't definitely tell you to do it i don't think yeah that, that's pretty sturdy without the screws in uh so these screws are some uh three millimeter like wood screws with uh cap heads on it i mean not cap heads but uh hex heads on it for uh allen uh get set up for this so these screws are slightly smaller let's see yeah they don't fit so with this nifty tool I can almost bet that this is going to be the second. There's two tools on each one, right? I flip it around the big end that didn't fit. And let's see. <laughs> sure enough, went right on in. So people are very generally critical on um, these type videos when you say something. So I'm going to cover this right now. Um, it says... Align the two screws in the head with corresponding screw holes in the fuselage and use for those two screws, right? All right. Screw hole in the leading edge of the gear front position. Fix blah, blah, blah. All right. Then right here it says fix plastic parts on the left and right sides of the head with screws HA3. HA3. Uh... 10 millimeter four pieces then use uh then connect the signal cables to the head it doesn't even like that's it it just tells you screw them in connect the, the uh cables to the head just so anybody can check me color this is talking about connecting the wire um if you want more firm if you want more want to be more firm you can apply epo foam glue blah 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 okay it says nothing about these screws right here sliding straight through the hole so ultimately i'm gonna have to get some appropriate size washers to go on the inside of there and and make this actually hold against something so i have to get back to this when i can get to that ah uh, this makes sense i've found some pieces that can be washers and this is going to add an extremely large amount of strength now that i see how it goes so yep these kind of press in and then you screw it down so back to the drawing board on that let me get these fitted i got those kind of pressed in um and then this side actually snapped at a certain point so i don't know if that was the groove hitting just right uh try to get this screwed in see see there's a little gap right there see if that's gonna pull yeah it pulled right in so that's awesome that's pretty cool not the best way to tell you in the directions, but once I looked at all the parts available, I looked at those pieces and figured that they had to correspond. And after further investigation of the picture, they show them, but I didn't figure out what they were until I needed them. And here we are, screwing them down now. Uh, and these pieces definitely lead me to believe that this is going to be strong enough without any glue. Now that's not seating like I would want it to. But you don't get everything you want with these kind of things. I'm going to go ahead and get the other side screwed down. Alright, I got those to lay nice and flat and tight like they should be. So now I'm going to connect my wires. You see a black wire on this side. That's not black, that's white. So I'm going to flip this one over. Got to go this way. And I'm fairly confident, let me see, it can only go in one way. Yeah, it only goes in one way. So get it matched up and then connect it and the latch locked. That's it. So I see like a couple of holes right here in the, in the fuse. I can probably manipulate a zip tie through there. Just to neaten things up at the end. Alright, so, nice little non-skid bottom plate, you know, for your batteries to not slide, like that, nice big heavy duty strap, and get that big fella in here, or those two big fellas in there. Alright, next step. Next step is the, uh, the tail. Um... 
You got three slugs for the two. Left one and right. I mean, left two and right two. So I'm going to get my right two. Mark up my. Not mark up, but get my lines connected in the correct polarity. Now the next step is to screw this on. But I think before I do that, I'm going to just put a, a piece of tape on that. I just feel like connections like this. You could use the little clips, right? I, I know about the clips. And those clips are great for certain situations. But little tight ones like this. I don't... Stuff that's probably never going to ever come apart. Like those clips are great for gas airplanes, I think. Because... They take them apart. They're so huge mongus that they take them apart after every flight and, and just to get them home. So I feel like this is not the perfect setup for that. So I'm just un really unplug that to make sense to you just to make sure I'm hitting the right one because, you know, I don't want to one of the plugs coming loose. The other side doesn't. Right. So and I'm get my scotch tape, make sure I'm adhering to the smaller side and then I'll just make a neat, tight of course, don't stick the tape to itself. It's really harder because I have the, the tail section loose right here. So, no other way to do it because you have to have it connected. So, just fight through it. Let me get this taped. Alright, got a nice neat tape job on that. I'm going to take my rudder and lift it up. And I'm going to try to figure out how to work this down on here. like a large amount of wire I think for such a tight area all right so once you get it completely manipulated go down I believe but it's not the easiest thing because those wires are so long so what I might do is I might pull those wires up just to make sure they're not interfering I'll let the slack come out this opening which I'm sure is going to still be available because it's open now and get this guy down now I know the screw holes for the, the two screws, well, this front one anyway, is not going to be blocked by the wires. And something's still kind of holding me up. I think it's the actual wire that I'm worried about. Yep. So what's happening is one of these wires is covering the screw hole. So, get them separated. This is not the easiest way to do this, I would say, because, I don't know. Anyway, it's very hard to get in there because you can't get your hand around it all. And this other wire is so short. I don't want to tape it. Alright, that was the aggravation was that other shorter wire. Now, I'm going to pull these so they don't cover the screw hole for the front screw now and now try to get this lined up alright neither one of those should be in the way not the greatest fit I would say because you don't know if you're in there Let's take one of the screws this is the screw the HA 4x45 I'm gonna get this geek guy down there just to be sure that we're you know what I'm gonna take that get me a piece of tape flip this over now Get the rolls out of this wire and I'm gonna take it.
what's happening is when these wires are pulled through the hole they're covering this hole so a little tape should hold that out of my way long enough for me to get this thing down without worrying about smashing the wire or anything else adverse all right get that one set in place and tape it all right try number 62 shouldn't be this complicated I think but this is probably the most advanced thing I've ever put together so it's weird because these screws don't even slide down the hole I'm gonna have to thread those all the way Yeah, I don't think I need to keep the video going while I fight this. Oh, it was the plastic on the outside that was holding me. So you gotta spread this plastic open if you're having similar trouble. All right, so once I got this, the wires out the way, the plastic was still holding me a bit. So now I'm gonna get this tape off of here. All right, so now I'm ready for my rudder wire. I can tuck everything else down because it's not needed to be in the way. And get my screw. This is gonna be too small. I'm gonna switch to the other side. And I'm gonna just go ahead and get this screw down. Alright, move on. That's all secure. Vertical tail. Four screw holes. Four screws left in that single bag. Um of course connect my wire from correct wire orientation. Plug it in. All right. Check my orientation again. Now I'm gonna do that same tape job. All right. Got tape very good. Push this wire down into the hole. Get all this excess signal cable. Kind of got it down. Push it in. That's it. I'm gonna take these four screws and put them in. So the next step brings us into putting the fuel tanks on I don't even have the fuel tanks because they are, the owner is not that kind of guy he's, he's probably not gonna fly them at all unless I talk him into it but anyway after that it goes into the wing which I am un, untaping right now uh, the thing about this is it covers you see I already got that carbon tube in there it covers like twice in the directions to make sure that it's centered I don't know why that's of any importance because once you insert one wing piece on it will kind of you know push it to where it needs to go but I guess I'll see as I do it if there's a, a some type of an issue so I'm gonna get this wing it's crazy how big this wing is like the whole bird is just huge gigantic mungus so you know you got your little inserts for, for connection which is the best thing with RC planes that I've seen so far and all the new stuff seem to be having it and that goes in pretty copacetic so from this point I'm just gonna push this bar back and like that's it as far as it goes inside this wing um, so we get the second wing installed this is so gigantic we get the second wing installed and then uh, I'm not gonna put the screws uh, because I got to take them off ultimately anyway, so I'm just get them plugged in see what comes next So this is the two sets to the, the, the longer ones go Let's see where they go uh, So the 16 One the longer one goes in the front right here Sure, we'll go in the back. So yeah, so as the wing tapers longer and shorter, but like I said, I'm not gonna put them in. Um, just set them there for the purpose of doing it. But I'm gonna just leave those in a bag. Move on to the next step. The wing fits pretty good. Everything's good with that. The connections seem to plug in tight. I'm gonna test it electrically, so not a problem. Um, all right, this is where it gets into this S bus and stuff. I gotta kind of read into this to see what we gotta do because we are not using Fataba or any kind of S bus stuff. So we're using Spectrum or maybe FR Sky. I gotta figure it out. So 
back at it again. Um, had a bunch of stuff went on between the last part of this and now. Um, but I had trouble getting it set up. So the directions are terrible at best. I mean, you could download it yourself and see like the wording and the way they did it. It's like a terrible translation job. Um, so I did it the way they recommended in the manual for the this control box, which this model, I don't know, the person I'm putting it together for, either he misplaced it or it just didn't come with it. So I downloaded it, not a big deal. But the directions that they give you for connecting a receiver to it, it it's all set up just to use on SBUS. If you're not using SBUS, then it turns into some strange setup. They give you the recipe to go from here to here. But I can tell you that recipe was completely wrong. Absolutely nothing worked when I connected it up to the radio. So I had to sit here and go one for one. But to the point now where everything is working the way I want it to. And it went through. I even got the little, if you listen, the brakes. All right, let me put the gear down. So this cool situation with the gear. So, the gear doors closed, it's so dramatic, so, I don't know if you know, but the wheels spin so good on the ball bearing, and then when you push the button, I got it on a push button, so, you know, when you're driving in, you can, like, hit the brakes, and it's not, like, fully locking the brakes, just, as long as you're holding them, they're, they're engaged, and then when you let go, the brake is off, so, you can spin again, um, so I got all of that lined up, even these little air brakes, which I gotta work out the kinks on this. I got it on the sliders, but you can see one is open more than the other, and they don't close at all. So they cover this in the book, but just to show you why my aggravation, I would never buy a plane from this company. <laughs> so like they show you the situation, then they show you that it can happen, what I'm doing here, and uh, possible reverse action. So. It, it tells you what to do and then it ultimately refers you to the manual for this thing so I don't have that manual so I'm looking at it on my phone but when you when you enter this manual or this uh, device it tells you to go to the power setting so if I scroll down it just says power setup there's no power setting so I don't know what I'm missing there but this is a ridiculous setup for one airplane like I have set up so many airplanes since I've been doing this and the amount of time and aggravation this took some of the time I would be setting this up and I couldn't get the gear to work I'd set up everything perfectly do the same method I did to get it together now set up everything perfectly everything would work the gear wouldn't work turn it off reset everything back to factory blah 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 um, this is the first time I've got it where everything's working. And I'm, I'm almost scared that it won't work the next time I cut it on. It, it's just like really glitchy situation with this. So I don't exactly understand why the flaps are off, as you can see. Uh, but they're operating correctly. And I don't believe to be binding at all, you know, because they're not making any noise or anything. So... Uh, I, I still got further work to do, but I just wanted to give a little update on the fact that I did get it all wound up, and this will all be one video, so it'll be continuous, and it won't make a difference to you, but uh, this is definitely an aggravation, and I, I probably wouldn't recommend this company. The, the, the owner was probably, he was so disgusted with it, he was probably just going to take this whole box out and put his one of his 14 channel fly skies in, but... We f I figured, you know, because the whole thing being integrated to the brakes, and you can hear it's even got a, it's even got a little gyro for the for the brake. So, uh, I mean, it's a good thought. It's just they didn't execute it well because of the whole. I don't know. I seen somebody else on a video talk about them catering to S bus because that's what they predominantly use. Well, uh, people in the United States shouldn't buy this. I'm gonna just say that right off the bat. So. Um, if you're in the United States and you're not using SBUS, then unless you're going to do a whole long setup like this and you don't mind the aggravation, I would say don't buy. So, just to ultimately, maybe this will help somebody at some point show you where I ended up at. Um, 
my R. So these R numbers are R numbers that are on this little box. See it? R1 through R14. You don't start anything unless you use an S bus. S bus is one and two. So you're starting at three. And then I, I keep my numbers consistently consistently going down the page, right? So R3. So that's why my receiver side. I should have marked it. I did on another side when I was doing it. And this is what the, the they tell you. Forget about that because, you know, that's in the manual. You can get that yourself online. Um, but this is what I end up, a process of elimination, getting each one on. And it is super glitchy. Sometimes you get some of these lined up to the right thing. Or let's say, to make this make sense, let's say I, I've, I'm, I hook everything up a certain way, they told me, right? And I'm doing my ailerons. Well, when I'm hitting aileron, let's say the elevator is working. So then I take the channel from elevator and I go ahead and move that to aileron or, or vice versa. Whichever one is wrong, I correct it, right? And I go to move my radio in that direction, it won't work at all. So then you got to go and reset it, maybe start again, maybe work, maybe not work. It just took a long time of going back and forth with that to get to this point where everything is working like I want it. I just need to do a little bit of adjustment on flaps and these doors which i cannot figure out how to do right now because there's no way let me see if i can get you guys inside of there oh wrong side of the phone yeah there's no way to get in there to, to adjust anything it's just straight the motor in there so these things are completely closed off um just for the investigation and there's nothing in the manual to tell you how to do it. it 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 just goes into the original plate won't move you know you could you could read all this pause it if you want to but know that there is nothing in there telling you what uh what to do to to make those things fixed other than to access it through here which i don't have the setting that they're telling me to go to so uh, yeah, I don't know where to go with that. Uh, just continue to read and keep trying stuff till I figure it out, I guess. So that is my final settings that I have it on with everything working. And this is with a Spectrum 10 channel. No, no safe mode, no gyro. Alright. So, aileron for channel number 2. Elevator. I'm sorry. R3, it goes to 2. R4, you know, and so on and so forth. I don't need to read until you can pause this if you need to or take a screenshot, something like that. This is what I ended up getting to work decent. F86 at the field. Here you go. Go next to it. Go to scale. Go to scale. Bigger than me. <laughs> it's bigger than him. Jeez, look at this thing. All right. So that's with full brake engaged. No brakes. Yeah, it looked like it's gonna go good. Brakes? Oh, perfect. Yeah, it's gonna definitely be nice to have brakes. That's awesome. <laughs> so we got it set up with a little bit of brake wear. If you were to be full throttle and brakes engaged, it would still roll a little bit. We don't want to lock it up when it hits the ground like some people do. Uh, we're going to at least try that. We might adjust. Perfect. The brakes are nice. So we might play with the settings. There's a gradual brake setting and a, a number of seconds that we can set. We might fool with some of those settings. Can we get those air brakes out?
Look at that, people. How awesome is that? You got air brakes. You got flaps. Let's get some flaps deployed. The normal flap right here. Flaps coming down. Air brakes and flaps together. Alrighty.
All right, so we under the hood, getting ready for a flight. This isn't the Maiden, uh, but we're, I had the Maiden, but it's no audio. I might put clips of that in there or something. I don't know, voice over it, whatever. I like to get the actual footage, but anyway. Shock the resters doing their job. We don't have a huge spark. All right, we're all ready to go. That thing is so huge. Super bright today. All right, I'm ready. Close pretty good, man. All bang works for you. Oh man, you've gotten comfortable with it, huh? It is so poised and sweet. Look upside at there, down. upside down upside circle. like inches off the ground. Don't support. It looks so graceful. Oh man, upside down, super low to the ground. You have gotten comfortable with this thing now. You come back around, huh? Huh? 
looks good looks good brakes working everything perfect all right f86 perfect flight oh 33 percent 33 percent at three minutes so that's a good outcome on four thousands we didn't do a quick all time yeah, he wasn't well into it, but you know, a good indicator of how you can fly it if you fly conservative. Most people do fly like that. You're the only person who flies full throttle for 90% of the, and the heat's not even that bad. These are, you know, completely touchable and no evidence of any overheating. All right, we're out here at Nomac and we're gonna let the cameraman have a chance to fly Paulie's big plane. What is it, Paulie? F86 Sabre Sky Blazer. Sky Blazer Sabre. What size is it? Uh, 120. 120. And Lewis is going to be finally at the sticks yeah. on his own crew YouTube chief. channel. Like, yeah, he's the like, crew chief. Just like race cars, sometimes the crew chief's got to take it out for a test. He's right, got to right? take so, it for a spin. Uh, uh, we'll see. All right. <laughs> You're gonna have to edit this because I can't see nothing on the screen. That's fine. Alright. See how easy that is? Dude, how do you see anything when you're filming? There's a peg at the top. That's a reticle. Oh, that peg? Okay. Look at easy peasy. Just a big, a big haboo. Might have messed up the audio. Shut up. You That's all right. You can talk, <laughs> Farley. Look how easy that is. Stable. Look at that. We got the crew chief here. We got to, we got to talk him up. Nice one. Nice one. Yeah. All the work he put into getting this baby flying. This flies better than the uh, F-22. This flies better than the Raptor. Yeah. All right. You guys heard it here first. More, slower than a Raptor. And all right. That's the flap. Pulling down a little bit with the flaps on. That's the air brake. All right, turn that back on. Woo! I'm nervous. Oh, no oh relax. You got, it. You, got you got it. Playing with those flaps made me way more nervous, though. Yeah, all right. Lucky, it's looking good. I lost orientation. Where you going? I did too. He's coming straight towards us. Straight up and over. Uh, get away from the sun. Something. Yeah. Sounds good, man. Oh, and it sounds good, huh? Yeah. You don't hear all this when you're videoing. You need to do a little bit tighter. Straight from runway, come down, come down, head fall down. Cut that out, it'll fly, it'll glide, cut that out. Put the nose down. Yeah, push it down. Maybe idle, more power. There you go, more power, there you go. Alright, I'm ready to handle it off. My hand. You can land it. You can land it. My hand. The crew chief. He can yank and bank. But you yeah. don't want to land. Oh no. Okay, go that way. Go through the pond. Level all the way. I got it. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> all right. Nice flight, yeah, man. Nice flight. Fly, fly slow, I think with the flaps down, Paulie, it didn't have much difference. Yeah. That's slow fly. See how I'm buying it? You're comfortable with it. Don't look at this. Look at that. Okay, it's a floater. Why are you scared? I don't know. It's just, you know, I don't fly that much as it is anyway. Look how tight I turned. That's, that's uh, about half hour. Maybe. I know. It felt like I was going to stall, so I was just scared. Just hitting it slow. Oh. All right, Paul, I want to right hit the numbers on the runway. Oh, I'm not landing it. I'm, I'm, I'm on the wrong angle. Okay. See, it looks like it leans a little power when you get in like that. That's why I was turning so wide. Well, it's your first time flying it, too. Yeah. Whew. Hand was shaking. Oh, look at that pretty descent. Oh, a little bouncy. A little bouncy. Ah, man. 